they've they've updated their banner here with their summer vibes we're gonna look at some of a lot of their bags for this season or there's like a lot of raffia a lot of beach bags uh, we're gonna take a look uh this looks really cool like it's almost like vintagey i do see vintage levy floating around and if you do look on the on the like you know used bag market Vintage Levy is really affordable, so just just a heads up there before we look at some of these bags. Uh, but you know, in terms of raffia, I feel like when they do raffia or basket, whatever woven bags, their pricing is really reasonable. Like they have an awareness of the materials compared to like their leather bags, and I also think their leather bags are amazing prices, <coughs> especially for comparing it to like. YSL that's really gone up in price and you know you might argue that Lovey has better leather so anyway let's get started from the top um, the ones at the top are the newest bags to show up in my Teresa so this these may be new releases but also restocks or like new colors of existing bags this is a giant drawstring pouch I like love this from like a design aesthetic point of view it's only 350 euros so i almost want to buy it because it's like why not don't you need a terry cloth giant drawstring pouch um yeah you don't okay you can hold it like that yeah this is like the most pointless bag of all time um i guess it, you could put your uh your like bathing suit in there <laughs> Okay, it's made with cotton terry leather poles. This is a completely pointless bag. But, you know, respect for at least pricing it reasonably. You know, maybe maybe that appeals to someone. I, I, I You guys know I can't do, like, bags that I have to hold. I already, I already have to hold enough in my life. Um, this is the their classic beach bag. I have a friend that bought this and was, like, really disappointed. I think for the price, it's pretty reasonable. And another thing is I've looked at the like used market for this bag. And the basket part, the palm, it's palm woven. <coughs> Sorry for coughing, I'm a little sick. But the basket part still looks really good in the used bags. And they're like clearly used. So that means like this, this is a bag that will like last... I think a reasonable amount of time for uh, 580 okay a little tiny woven bucket bag if you just want something with their like anagram logo thing this is so cute this is summery uh, you can like zip it closed fits your phone let's see what phone does it fit fits the pro max <coughs> God, I'm so sick. <coughs> I would edit this. I would edit out my coughing, but I'm too lazy. Give me a thumbs up for that. <laughs> Support my laziness. This is another Rafia tote bag. You know, I would much rather see this than another Neverfull. Honestly, sorry. But it is a bit much. I'm going to say no for that one. Okay, the next one is the slit tote bag. I don't like the printed word logo. Okay, aesthetically, I love their logo, the printed word logo, like right here. Um, it looks really beautiful, and when you get a Loewe bag, it's like packaged with these ribbons that are like white, and they have this text in black on them, and they're very, very beautiful, uh, but so big. You know, and like Loewe is supposed to be the quiet luxury brand. So like what is going on here? Design wise, this looks really cool. I'd love to see this in all leather without the giant words. Or maybe just embossed. Uh, so it looks like they did it in like a brighter yellow weave. Stripes. And also with like dark lines. And you know, look, this is 1500 And then for... $200 more, you can get a leather bag that actually kind of looks like a Bottega bag. Here's another pouch. 
This one's 250 euros. I don't hate this. I'm literally like seconds away from buying this. The only reason I'm not buying this is because I'm recording my screen and then I'll have to <laughs> I'll have to put my credit card info in. Um This is so cute. This is so stupid. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm gonna leave this page and forget I ever saw that because it's so cute and stupid at the same time. Um this looks really nice. Um, I love the top handle and the strap. Not my fa not the colors for me, but still really good colors overall. And I think the price is like crazy good for the. T I mean, the leather you get is crazy crazy good. This is a really nice vertical tote. I don't like vertical totes. I think you guys know that. I like the embossed word logo because it's like subtle enough that it's not like super obvious. What can you fit in here? You know, like maybe I could fit my iPad. Let's see, 21 by 17. I could fit my iPad mini in a notebook. I feel weird about like this whole like open top kind of bag. Maybe I should get over it. Maybe I should get over it and just try that style of bag. It does look cute on the model. Okay, so these are the woven bags. These The prices are kind of very are all over the place. This woven bag is $1,500. This one's $950. This one's $850. This one's uh, $1,200. All over the place. Uh, and I actually find that it's pretty common with Lil Evie. It's like they don't know how to price stuff. So they just, they just like throw, throw shit at the wall. Sorry for my language. Um, this is like a small version of their classic tote, I think. It's kind of the vibes it's giving me. 620. If you're into Raffia. But this one's like a little more organized. Like you could do summer wedding with this. Whereas you definitely aren't going to a wedding with a beach tote. Here's another beach tote for eight hundred. Here's a small beach tote, which I think this is so cute for four eighty. Four eighty, and that's a lot of leather. And the straps are like leather and thick. This is also this is a great deal. Like you really want like a cute beach bag or a cute summer bag. You can go shopping with this with like a really, really casual outfit on. Four eighty. 100% worth it. And you're going to have it for years and years because the basket weave really does last. It really does last. Some people, you know, can't imagine buying a luxury bag that's like raffia. But if you like the look, you take decent care of it, right? You're not like exposing it to like a lot of water or anything like that. But that's cute. This one is like all over the place for me. I'm just going to not look at that because it's going to stress me out. This is another vertical tote. Raffia, 1100 The pricing is just chaotic. This is a kind of like a pouch bag. So it has like a drawstring closure. But it's also the Raffia. This looks really pretty. I love the like the cloth Loewe uses. It's like very thick beautiful cotton I think it's cotton cloth uh, this is what their dust bags are usually made out of that looks really cute this whole outfit like this is what I want to do this summer but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be pregnant and giant and in pain okay they also have it in white 480 so cute I would get the brown because that'll last a bit longer. Because I don't trust myself with white. They have the woven bag in another color. This is seventeen hundred. Completely worth it. This leather is like going to last a lifetime. Um, the elephant. I've never been into the Loewe animal bags, but this is seven eighty. And you know, some people collect them. I'm not saying there's resale value there. There might be. I don't know. If you think it's cute, I would get it before it sells out. They it's they do sell out really quickly. Okay, another color. I don't like this colorway. 
I like this colorway and I like the blue. This one is just a weird mix of both. 850, another logo woven tote bag. I don't like the high contrast logo, it's too much. Another bucket bag. Let's look a little closer at this one. This is really pretty. I like how just intricate the weave. There's so much variety. You know, this is done by hand. This is, you know, this is like real craftsmanship. That's what you can expect from this brand. And that's why I kind of appreciate it. Okay, so where were we at? Okay, a weed bag. This is like a hard pass for me. Not, not that not, not that the topic upsets me. I just, the design is like so sloppy. It's way too on the nose. You know, maybe the color should have been tie-dye or something. Like if you're going, I don't know. You could have done it a little more interesting. It just feels like they're, they're trying to make a bag to appeal to like a demographic or something. But I don't think that demographic would go for that. But I don't know. I don't know. All right, a big... The version of like the bucket tote. Eight twenty, like still really cheap, and you, you can fit a lot more in this. Although I don't like the shape, I feel like it would, as it hangs on my hip, it looks like it would bother me. You know, like it's like a big bowl. Next, another one of these totes, which I think is cute, but again, the logo like really doesn't add much. Uh, a fish tote, a fish bag. This is, like, cute, but I also, like, why don't we just DIY this one? Yeah, let's DIY that. Um, a vertical tote, much bigger. Again, I don't know. I feel like the vertical nature of it, when you start putting stuff in these bags, they get really heavy. Good price, though, for that amount of leather. Um, skip, skip. Okay, wait. Why is this nine fifty? Look at that bag. That's nine fifty. And then this bag is ten fifty. Where's a hundred dollars going? Is this one bigger? Hold on. Let's like take a look. No, they're the same size. I guess you pay hundred dollars for some extra colors. Oh my God! Look at this Goya. Oh my God! It's like a cross between Bottega and Loewe. The Goyas are always so expensive, and I actually like the Flamencos better. Flamenco is, like, on my wish list. I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, this bag, though, doesn't have the strap, so it's not on my wish list. Oh, yeah, it does. This is the bag, yeah. And I like the color, too. Uh, I tried a red one on in a boutique. But this dark brown, ugh, it's such a pretty brown. Like, I also feel like brown bags are like, they fulfill the gap in your closet. Like, they do all the stuff a black bag does, but they look better. They look more expensive. They just look bomb. That's my opinion. I, I want to buy this too. But I'm not going to because I'm being responsible. Um, an elephant pocket. Yeah, not into it. I hate this. They turned the Goya into like a fabric bag. What? What is this made of? Fabric. They don't even tell you it's nylon. They don't even have the balls to tell you it's nylon. Yeah, it's a trend thing. They're like, oh, the other brands are doing it. Stop. Low heavy, stop. It's not you. Um, this bag is, like, cool, but it's too expensive for what it is, although the leather feels really nice on it. You know, I would rather spend, like, a bit more money. Uh, you know, I would rather spend, like, the extra money and get the flamenco. Because that's, like, a proper bag, and it looks amazing. The Goya in velvet. Oh, God, the price is so high. I don't know why the Goya is so expensive, because it's not even, like super popular bag but I guess it's like a flap and that and flaps sell well when you make them expensive I don't know 
that leather is really cool. You know, it's hard for me to say, though, it's worth it, though, because that's a lot of money. The Flamenco XL. That's a lot of, lot of leather. See, like, that Flamenco XL is cheaper than this, which is, like, a lot less leather. And, yeah, there's, like, hardware and stuff, but the... Guys, I, I don't know if you've seen the inside of the Goya, but it's, like, not anything special. It's a flat bag. And it's very puffy. It takes up a lot of space. It feels like a, it's a bit of a waste at times. I, I like puffy bags. I like to touch puffy bags, but I don't. I don't want to wear them. They don't feel efficient. The Flamenco XL. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is just like a perfect line. And when you. The only thing with the flamenco is I can't do light colors because the gla they put this like black glazing on it. But it looks good with a dark color like this. Yeah, I don't like the XL. I like the other one. The brown one. That's the winner. That's the one I want. That's the one that I'm definitely not going to buy after I finish this video. Okay, now we're going to look at the gate. There's the gate. We looked at it. Um, the flamenco midi napa clutch. Does this have a strap? They they are really not consistent when they call something a clutch. Sometimes it has a strap. Yep, it has a strap. It's also really cute. But you see, like this color, I wouldn't do it because the black glazing makes it look weird. But it's definitely giving me Bottega vibes. I love everything. It's lined with suede. I just love everything about this design, the little knots. And yes, it's as soft as it looks. This is like the best leather in the world. I, I can't explain to you. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just gonna, is that a rabbit? Made of rabbit? What's this? The Paseo? Paseo. Interesting. Flamenco Mini. Again, like these lighter colors, the glazing messes it up. Ooh, we have a puzzle. Puzzle's really high in price these days. But, you know, if you want it, it's worth it. For me, getting in and out is like kind of a deal breaker on the puzzle. Um, I have a puzzle, so I should know. And I just don't really use it as much as I should. And I feel guilty just letting it sit there. But I have more practical bags. Um, I think that's why I want the flamenco because that's like it has a magnetic closure where you can go in and out really easily and what's interesting is the flamenco is the only bag that doesn't bother me that it doesn't have a zipper um, okay I think we're pretty much done here's the paseo without the metal hardware I've never actually looked at this bag so I'm going to look really quick interesting handles it kind of looks like a banana or like a like a some sort of shell. Yeah, it's just too complicated. It's a difficult bag. Uh, as far as the puzzles, I like these like solid colors. And I don't like the prints, and I don't like the mixes that much. Leather clutch. And I don't really like the long ones. I like what they look like. I don't like wearing them um and here we have a bit more of the baskets and that's it for loevi you know you can see that they're actually like not really pushing the puzzles for summer and we don't get a raffia puzzle that's surprising uh, but i would say the best deals are maybe like actually this something like this we have this one and then there's also the blue one but also this one. Actually, this one's a bit bigger. This 480 shoulder bag. That's an amazing... That looks expensive, right? First of all, it's low IV. Someone sees this and they like... At least they know the brand, right? They know the brand and they see you wearing this. They're not going to think, oh, that person spent 480 Not at all. That looks like a nice bag. Okay. That's it. By the way, this is Bad at Fashion. You can always subscribe. I make these videos all the time. 
whenever I feel like, and by all the time, I mean whenever I get around to making them, uh, but feel free to recommend a brand. I was actually thinking of doing J.W. Anderson because he's the creative director of Levy, but oh god, I have so so many mixed feelings about him, so I, I just went ahead and did Levy. Um, yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, uh, and tell me what else you want me to talk through. I really like browsing different designers because it helps me not spend money. <laughs> okay, thank you.